Hello everyone, welcome to the CTV News on Calabash TV and on the Wave Radio Night 4.5. I am Lisa Joseph. Well, the date has been set, October 8, 2015, a significant date for the Lucian People's Movement as the minority opposition party plans to mount protest against the economic policies of the ruling Labour Party the result and their result in unemployment and violent crime. The LPM has received approval from the Royal Senusha Police to stage the march. The planned LPM march had generated some controversy after the LPM leader had accused the police of attempting to frustrate the event when law enforcers turned down the request for the activity after pointing out that the LPM letter requesting permission for the protest march did not meet several criteria under the law. The LPM admitted then that it had omitted some requirements but made it clear that the party's intention was not to violate the law. The party subsequently resubmitted its request. The LPM protest march is expected to commence at 4 p.m. from the VG Playing Field and proceed along the John Compton Highway to Derek Walker Square. Leader Thera Prudent is also expected to deliver hundreds of resumes submitted by the unemployed to Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony. Meantime, Prime Minister Anthony has defended his government's performance record when it comes to job creation. Swept into power in 2011 on the promise of jobs, the Labour administration has come under heavy criticism for an unemployment rate that has increased. Prime Minister Anthony has also been accused of being out of touch with the real issues faced by the populace. At his recent press briefing, I posed a question to the Prime Minister. This is a government... When it assumed office, the unemployment rate in this country had moved from 12.5% when we left office to 22.5% under the United Workers' Party. Nobody in the opposition has any moral authority to speak about unemployment because they did nothing about it, including those in the LPM who now talk about unemployment. This is a government that understood full well that this economy was in crisis, it was in difficulty, attracting investment was very difficult. And what's the record? We have introduced a program called NICE. Has employed over 2,000 persons since its inception. And today, NICE has grown to the point where we provide health care to the elderly in our country. One aspect of that program that has been well received by supporters on both sides of the political fence. Today, through NICE, there are farmers in this country who are able to tap into the NICE labor program to employ persons on their farms. And there's evidence of increases in production as a direct result of this. NICE continues. This government promised to spend $100 million to create jobs, and we are well on our way to doing this. This is the government that also has invested heavily in a cruise ship training program. Since we have gone into office, over 600 persons have obtained employment on the cruise ship lines operating in this country. This is a government that is now facilitating expansion of our hotels. This is a government where you are seeing new investment, as I indicated earlier on, in the private sector. Means hundreds of persons involved in construction are employed. This is a government that has revolutionized CDP. And now everyone can see where the money in CDP has gone. Hundreds and thousands of small contractors have been employed. This is a government. In the last month, we made available small contracts to the value of 1,500 persons to hundreds of, St. hundreds of St. Lucians across this country. This is a government that has touched people's lives. And you want to suggest to me we ought to touch? I want to find out who really is in touch with the realities of our country. Thank you.